Now in this example we've got to find the integral then of sine to x over cos x integrated with respect to x. Now whenever I get a fractional integral whether it's a trigonometric one or anything else first thing should always do is just to check to see whether differentiating the denominator gives the numerator. Why? Because if that is the case it would fall into this type often referred to as the integral of f dash x over f of x. It would always lead back to the natural log of the mod of the denominator. So as a first check then I differentiate the denominator cos x and what I get is negative sine x and that's not what I have on the top here. So I've made that check and so therefore I know it's not this type. Okay so I'll just remove that then. So how do we do this? Well I'll put the integral back here. The next thing I would want to do is to check to see whether I can use any identities. And I see a sine 2x on the top here and I know that that is the identity that comes from sine 2a. You most probably find this in your formula books for instance. Okay, Sine 2a, you should know this one, is 2 sine a cos a. Only in this example, instead of a, we've just got the x. And looking ahead, I can see that by using this identity, writing the top line as 2 sine x cos x, nice things will happen. Hopefully you've already spotted what is going to happen. You'll notice the cos x are common factors, both top and bottom here, so therefore I can cancel out the cos x. Cos x into cos x goes once. Okay, so what happens is that this integral reduces to simply the integral of 2 sine x with respect to x. You'll notice also I've pulled the 2 out the front of the integral. I always do that generally because it leads to simpler answers. Okay, how do I integrate sine x? What is it? Well, it is negative cos x. So putting the two together, I end up with minus 2 cos x. And don't forget, because there are no limits here, it's not a definite integral, I have to put the constant of integration, which I've called c. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this particular integral.